Imagine you are reporting from the deserts of Book of Exodus as a journalist. Your words would sound this way. Right in front of their eyes is the Red Sea and right behind them is the raging army of Pharaoh. If they take a step forward, they would be drowned in the deep dangerous waters. If they freeze, Pharaoh's men will massacre them mercilessly. What would you do if you were in such a context? Panic? Fear? Lose strength? Cry? Become hopeless? Run helter-skelter? People of Israel are doing the same. And Moses, the greatest leader, joined in crying to God too. This is man. So vulnerable. So weak. So fearful. So sensitive. Man becomes paralyzed in such dreadful situations. Oh my God! The breaking news. People of Israel hear a mighty voice from the sky. They say it is the voice of God. Tell the Israelites to move on. And Moses, you raise your rod and stretch your hand over the sea to divide. Wow. Move on. Stretching rod is now stretching your faith. Don't stretch your fears. Don't stretch your imaginations of the unseen and unwanted perils. Don't stretch your weakness, don't stretch your hopelessness and don't stretch the news you are watching. Learn to stretch your faith over your situation. Learn. Listen to this amazing secret. Faith has a measure. Romans 12.3 says it has a measure of faith. And the term measure indicates that it has a character to increase and to decrease. So your stretching will increase the measure of faith. It will move you from ordinary faith to great faith. When you stretch your faith, God will stretch the natural. And since the natural is stretched, it becomes supernatural. Then, what is a Red Sea? What are armies of man? What is fear of death? Nothing, absolutely nothing will stand against your God who is fighting for you. He divides the sea. Listen, in reality, sea divides into two. But categorically, spiritually, I see the sea as two types of seas. The sea reacts in two different ways for two different people. For Israel, it becomes a highway. For Egyptians, it forms as a trap. For Israel, it opens as a miracle. And for Egyptians, it closes to destroy. The same sea, but reacted differently. The same COVID will react differently. Stretch your great faith. It will maneuver the threatening COVID. Stretch. Stretch your faith over the COVID. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, stretch out. You will see a highway. You will see your miracle. You will see your healing. You will see the destruction of violence. And the end of the day's news is that the God's word stands. The armies you see today, God said you will never see them again. The COVID you see today, you will never see it again. The pain you went through, you will not go through it again. The agony you had, you will not have it again. Move on. Stretch on. Your stretched faith will dismantle the virus, the destructive virus from your life. Hallelujah.